Hello friends, in this session we will see numericals on voltage regulation, the two of EMF method and in this one also graphical way method. Let us begin with the video. Yes, so now here if you see the open circuit and short circuit test is conducted on a three phase star connected very important point star connected 866 volts 100 kva alternator the oc test results are this way oc test results are this way we have seen no oc test and all correct already now fact here is you please tell me if is in ampere field current in ampere we know it is going to be dc field so don't think about it it's fine okay next thing is what what about voc what do you think it is ac only correct now so it is line to line voltage or it is phase voltage remember write down there note whatever values are given in the problem or anywhere nameplate or anywhere those all are nothing but line voltages line voltages remember that this is very important point now anyways since all of these are how are all line voltages or not yes that is the reason in order to make them into phase voltages we need to do what we need to divide by root 3 yes or no yes sir so let us do that why because this is star connected and in case of star we know that v phase is nothing but equal to what v line by root 3 this is basics right school level basics already we have seen about these basics correct yes so right or no yes now what will i do i'll just make one more you know row here such that let me call this as boc again volts only and it is in phase voltage now it is in phase form so what happens here let me divide this by root 3 let me divide all of them by root 3 and see what happens so let me just do that by root 3 by root 3 by root 3 by root 3 and by root 3 that's it what happens then 173 by root 3 will give you how much it will give you roughly 100 volts then this will give you roughly 179 volts this will give you roughly around 485 divided by root 3 will give you 280 volts 605 divided by root 3 will give you 349 volts 728 divided by root 3 will give you this is for 420 volts okay and then 6 is what 790 790 divided by root 3 is going to give you somewhere around 452 volts all are voltages and they are which values they are they are all phase values now next is what so if you consider the first thing we need three things right in totality three things we need what are they number one is OCC characteristics number two is SCC characteristics and number three is what re armature resistance correct or not yes now the fact here is armature resistance is it given yes it is given and that too per phase value no problem but what about what about what about short circuit if you see in case of short circuit what are they trying to tell you let us see their convincing they are trying to tell you that Field current of 2.4 ampere is required to produce a rated line current. Now the fact is, how can you get this rated line current? How can you get this rated line current? For this, if you see, what is this? Apparent power, what is that? Root 3 into VL into YL. Yes or no? Yes sir. Therefore, now if you see S, how much is your S? Is it 100 kV? Yes. So 100 into 10 to the power 3, which is equal to what? Root 3 into what? VL. How much is VL? 866 volts which is given this is real only no line voltage or not yes line voltage or not yes definitely it is going to be line voltage only whatever is given all of those are going to be line voltage is only remember this thing in mind correct or not yes so this is 866 which is line voltage and multiplied by il from this one equation one unknown please find il from this il that you will get will be somewhere around 66.67 ampere 66.67 ampere 
this is line current now what about phase current in case of star we know line current and phase currents both are same so this is nothing but what i phase which is nothing but equal to isc that's it this is nothing but the short circuit current phase value right now we can have occ characteristics as well as short circuit characteristics let us see them let me have the graph assume that it is a graph paper you have to do this on graph paper compulsorily in your exam remember this this is very important point now for example this is let us say current if if only no and on the y axis what we have we have got voc just try to plot them now what i will do is i will write on x axis on x axis what is happening 1 cm is equal to let me just add 1 cm is equal to 1 ampere correct and on y axis let me write 1 cm is equal to 100 volts let us see what happens so all our phase values remember these are all phase values which i have right now okay by the way what is field current if let me consider 1 1 1 correct so let me have 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 centimeter every 1 centimeter distance will indicate 1 ampere of field current okay now what about y axis every 1 centimeter of y axis will indicate how many volts 100 volts so let me consider 100 volts here so 100 volts 200 volts 300 volts 400 volts is 500 volts that's it now let us see what are they trying to say see what are they saying when your field current is 1 ampere your phase open circuit voltage is 100 yes or no yes so it means what field is 1 ampere so it's 100 volts so this is going to be this way this is going to be our first point yes sir now when a field current is 2 ampere your voc is going to be 179 ampere so it is 2 ampere so it is 179 where does it come 179 179 will somewhere come here or not yes somewhere about 200 so this is going to be the second point what about third one see when field current is 3 amperes 280 volts is what you get correct or not so 3 amperes 280 volt. 280 volt will be what just below 300 correct or not so below 300 i will get here you please draw this on graph paper i hope you all can do that at home correct no because i cannot do that on this ipad anyways now when field current is 4 amperes how much is voltage voc 349 correct or not so 4 so it is going to be 349 so 349 is where somewhere around half of this 300 and 400 correct this is going to be 349 somewhere about here it is going to be 349 so let me just have this this is 349 this is that point next point is where 5 when field current is 5 ampere this is 420 420 so 420 will be somewhere here yes or no so this is the point now next is what sixth one what is sixth one see 6 ampere field current is giving you 452 open circuit voltage so 6 ampere field current going giving you 452 so 452 is how much this is somewhere around half of midway of this 400 and 500 so around here i will get this point right or wrong yes this is it yes or no yes so let me just join this this is going to be a curve perfect curve you will get you will get a perfect curve on your paper okay yes this is it now let us see short circuit see short circuit characteristic what are they see you need only 1.4 scc yes or no by the way let me write down this is occ now what about short circuit see what are they saying that field current is of 2.4 ampere and it is producing how much rated current how much is rated current 66.67 ampere so what i will do is let me consider one more what do you say axis over here and this axis is what sir this is all definitely isc axis yes sir now here what i will do is i will consider on y axis 
one centimeter is equal to 50 amps. Let me consider. So one centimeter, same distance only, not this and this. So if you consider this to be 50 amps, this is 100 amps. Okay, no problem. Right or wrong? Yes. So 50 amps, 100 amps. So you please tell me where will be 66.7 amps because that is the rated current. No, 66.67 amps, which is nothing but ISC. So 66.7 amps will be somewhere here. So kind of somewhere here it is going to be. So and it is happening when at 2.4. So 2.4 will be somewhere here. So this is going to be 2.4. This is going to be 66.7 amps. This is going to be 2.4. So 2.4 is here. This is going to be such as correct or not yes so this is going to be the point of the short circuit now what definitely you can just draw a straight line and that's it that is the short circuit characteristics you just draw a straight line keep on going keep on rolling keep on going and that's it so this is your short circuit characteristic that's it now next steps are all mechanical steps only mathematical steps only no yes now see what do you do then for this field current only which field current for the same field current where rated current is flowing for the same field current you find what is the voltage and this voltage is nothing but what your voc so this voltage that you consider so this voltage is let us assume that this voltage is 240 volts let us assume that this voltage is 240 volts now you please tell me what is zsc what is zs synchronous impedance what is that it is nothing but what voc upon isc at what same field current same field current yes or no so what do you get then what do you get then voc by isc what is voc we are saying 240 volts divided by isc what is isc 66.67 amperes correct what does this give zs is equal to how much from this equation what is zs what is zs 3.6 ohms per phase this is going to be zs now our intention is to find excess. So what is excess? Excess is nothing but what we have seen. Under root of ZS squared minus RA squared. What is ZS? Under root of what? 3.6 squared minus what? RA. How much is RA? 0 0.15 ohms. 0 0.15 whole squared. Now, if it is this way, what is going to happen? What is this answer at you that you get? somewhere around 3.57 ohms per phase this is nothing but excess yes or no this is nothing but synchronous reactance now what do we have to do just simply use the formula to find ef what is ef definitely the phase for phase voltage what is this under root of under root of under root of what is that in under root of VT. VT is also phase value. Remember all these voltages are phase values for phase values. So VT into cos phi plus IA RA squared plus what do we have? VT sin phi plus IA axis and here we can have plus or minus. Correct or not? Yes. But now here we know one thing that already in the question they are saying that it is lagging yes or no yes so if it is lagging then definitely minus will not come minus is gone here minus is gone only plus is going to be there lagging indicates plus here correct no yes now you please tell me because the first thing you need is vt correct or not yes what is vt terminal voltage what is that rated voltage it is given no how much it is 866 yes or no yes so i want 866 value in phase so how do you get that so what is that vt line is going to be how much 866 yes or no now you want vt phase now you have seen that it is star connected no that is the reason voltages will change so 866 by root 3 how much is this value going to be this value comes out to be somewhere around 500 volts so basically what vt you have in phase value that is 500 volts i also do you have in phase value yes that is nothing but 66.67 is how much that is nothing but phase value only we have seen so let me now calculate this what happens vt what how much is vt 500 multiply by what cos phi now what is cos phi cos phi is what power factor how much it is given if you see here power factor they are given as 0 0.8 power factor so 
if power factor is 0 0.8 power factor so here it is 0 0.8 which is nothing but cos phi correct or not from this if i try to find phi phi is how much cos inverse of 0 0.8 which is equal to what 36.86 degrees now you please replace this for sin phi sin phi is going to how much sin of 36.86 degrees which is nothing but equal to what 0.6 so plus what is ia what is ia sir what is ia sir please tell me 66.67 yes or no yes so 66.67 multiplied by ra how much is ra given 0 0.15 ohms this is nothing but 0 0.15 the whole square yes or no yes now plus what do i have vt sin phi vt sin phi plus i x is what is vt sin phi what is vt sin phi what is vt definitely 500 multiply by sin phi how much is sin phi just now we got 0 0.6 plus how much ia ia is how much 66.67 phase value multiplied by what excess how much is excess for this only we did no all this stuff 3.57 the whole square that's it now if you solve this you get this value to be equal to 677 volts this is our here phase value now how to find voltage regulation voltage regulation percent is going to how much ef minus vt upon vt we are considering all as phase values so let us consider all as phase so what happens ef at no load what is ef 677 so 677 minus of vt 500 divided by how much 500 is going to be how much 100 give me what is this value what is this value let us calculate let us calculate this value so this comes out to be 35.4 percent this is percentage voltage regulation 35.4 percent now in the afterwards just immediately in this next session we will be talking about non graphical way how such type of questions are solved just by using equation that also we will try to see in the immediate next session for now voltage regulation using graphical way has been done and yes if you can observe here right now what has happened almost if you see it is showing you 35.4 percent whereas if you see we have talked about that voltage regulation should not be more than five percent and should not be less than minus five percent kind of so you know just imagine what is this and this is the reason i said that emf method is a pessimistic method why because it always gives you more voltage regulation than it must be there in the system i am not saying that this system is having less than five percent or anything but i am saying that definitely what is their actual voltage regulation from that by this method if you see you will definitely get more voltage regulation that is for sure we need to ensure Okay, thank you.